All right, been working on some motors. We got this big old dinosaur here. It says it's 220 volt, two horsepower. Thing's ginormous, man. You know. I weighed it. This thing weighs about 120 pounds. So at today's prices, we're towards the end of February 2022, so scrap prices are pretty high. And uh, this thing, the way it sits right now, is worth about 48 50 bucks, 48 to $50. So we're going to take it apart, see how much copper is in there, and see how much more money we can make out of it. There's actually some pretty good copper on that armature there, too. Sheesh.
thing is heavy, man.
see what this weighs. Number two copper is at uh, three three dollars and seventy six cents right now. So let's see what it weighs. Oh yeah, looks like nine pounds. Probably just end up taking this as electric motor. You could probably scrape a couple extra pounds out of here, but I don't think it's worth it. Probably just let it go. And uh, realistically, this this motor might not have been worth taking apart. When we sit here and we run the numbers, let's check them out. All right, as you see. Uh, Hold this motor weighed 138 pounds. It was it was actually over 120, so 138 actually maxed my scale out. I had to uh, weigh it in pieces after I took it apart, but it comes out to 138. So at 39 cents a pound for electric motors, it would have been 53 dollars. Now, this might have been classified as large motors. They do have a separate category for large electric motors, probably because the scrapyards got it figured out. They know what's in there. You know what I mean? They've all, they've been doing this stuff for years. They know what they're doing, right? So at large motor price, it would have been 24 cents. So the motor would have been $33. So I don't know what they would have actually given me for that. They might have gave me 39, but most likely probably 24 because the motor was so big. Now, okay, here's here's the final numbers. The this motor, this is going to go as motors. So that's 27 pounds at 39 cents comes out to $10.53. The copper was nine pounds at three dollars and seventy six cents. That comes out to thirty three eighty four, and then the steel was base. We'll just call it a hundred pounds. It was a little bit over a hundred pounds, one hundred two, but uh, we'll just call it fourteen bucks on the steel. So it comes out to fifty eight thirty seven is the total in pieces. Now together it might have been fifty three or thirty three. I don't know how they would have categorized it when I got there. So. If they take it as regular motor, it's definitely not worth it to take that motor apart. But if they would have took it as large motor for $0.24, cents, I mean, we made an extra $30 roughly, you know, by taking it apart. Plus, we got to test out our new toy, which seems to work really good. I mean, if you guys are in the United States and you have a, uh, a Lowe's around you right now, these things are on clearance for $83, bare tool, and their actual triple function so you actually have the function to lock it in place and put it in just hammer. That seems to work pretty good. I actually like that. It's way better than swinging a hammer for 20 minutes. And as you've seen in the video, it did a pretty good job of pulling stuff out of there. Was it worth it? Maybe not. But we made almost 60 bucks in a couple minutes. So that's cool. And it's in smaller pieces, and we can actually pick it up. I needed help to pick that thing up before it was so heavy. Alright, thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe, share the video. I don't know, you decide if it's, it's worth it for you to take them apart. Stay warm out there. You got to get the triple function, three mode. It's only worth two jewels in Zelda. <laughs>